Hey guys, we're getting ready for Murph this weekend. Uh, so we're doing it on Monday. Couple things with our movement standards and our options for the workout. So if you're doing half Murph, that's fine, but we still wanna do all the movements the correct way. So you have your mile run and your half mile run, whichever one you may be doing. We come in, we have our pull-ups. Kipping, you can do strict. Uh, our options for modifying are either use a band or you can set up rings for ring rows but we do want to get our chin over the bar every time and fully lock out our arms at the bottom. Uh, the other two movements is where it really becomes uh, sticky when it comes to skimming reps or just not meeting the full standard. So push-ups, what we want to do at first, so Kyle's going to demo a, a RX push-up. So full standard is from the top of the, the, the plank position, arms locked out, chest to deck, and then pressing right up. We want to avoid the worm, so we want to keep that plank position rather than just sink our hips. If we're unable to do that and really hit the target, one option is coming to a plate and having the plate as your target for your chest. So keeping that position, hitting your chest to deck or chest to the plate and then back up and that'll avoid hips sinking. Those of us who don't have that full range of motion, don't have the strength or the stamina for that, we're gonna be going with onto a bench or we're gonna have a couple bars set up as well and then that bench is your target for your reps and you want to be able to hit that desired number in a row so we're talking it's on the back of your shirt all right a lot of you guys that bought this shirt it's on the back of your shirt integrity so keep the integrity of the movement and that goes for the squats as well as we get tired all right our squats are good from the start we're pulling our hips down and back keeping our chest as upright as we can as he does a few of them and then as we get tired it tends to get to where hands are on our legs and we're just moving a little bit at a time. So you wanna really focus on keeping your chest up and pulling your hips down and back into your squat, standing up fully rather than just looking down. So keep your vision looking forward uh, and keep the integrity of each movement and we'll have some fun.